Howdy folks, and welcome to this microbiology video where we are going to cover the methyl red boat prow skewer tests, or MRVP tests. These are tests that are going to evaluate the type of fermentation that bacteria might be undergoing. So with this activity, we are going to be working with Enterobacteria uh, aerogens and with Escherichia coli. Now, we uh, abbreviate these EA and EC, so it's going to be extremely critical for you to pay attention to the labels throughout this activity. Do not mix them up, all right? Now, we're not gonna need our Bunsen burner for this, but if you would like to, you can turn it on to create that zone of inhibition with the flame if you feel safer using it. The other thing for safety is you are going to have to have gloves on and you are also going to need to get glasses, which you can find in your drawer. Okay, now what we're going to be doing is transferring some of these growth cultures over to these little small tubes. So before we do that, we want to make sure they are labeled and ready. We're going to label them based on the test. So the first set of labels we're going to give is EA MR, EA for the methyl red test. And then we're going to label EA VP. EA for the Vogue's Proscura test. Even though we call these the MRVP test, they are two separate tests that happen to be done in the same growth medium. Okay, so that's why they're paired. And then we're going to label both of these EC VP. C M R. Now, notice I've kept my EA tubes separate from my EC tubes. That way I make sure that I'm not going to risk mixing my tubes up. All right? So, here's my EA culture. We've already grown it for 48 hours, so all we're doing is transferring some of that volume over but how much are you going to transfer? You're gonna take these tubes and you're going to measure roughly one centimeter from the bottom and mark two. And you're going to fill up the tube with culture up to that line that you've set. Same with these. So now we've got our line set, now we can actually do the broth transfer. We're done with the marker, set it aside. So first we're going to transfer EA, check the label. Here's my EA tubes, check the labels, and mix. we're simply going to make them pump up and down a couple times to mix, or you can flick. Grab some of the culture, cap it, lift your tube so you can see your line, add them up to the line. Okay, I'm a little short so I'm going to have to get a little bit more. I'm now done with this transfer pipette, I'm simply going to add it to our biohazard. So these are now filled with culture. I'm now going to fill these with my E. coli culture. 
EC, EC, EC. Always double check your labels. All right, so mix, or with these transfer pipettes, you can mix with them directly, collect some of your bacterial culture out of it, close the tube and set it back to the tube rack. Add up to the line and add up to the line and get rid of the waste. Now that I've done that, we are going to shuffle the tubes around. Okay, I'm now going to pair my two methyl red tubes together and I'm going to pair my two Vogue's Proscure tubes together. So now you can see that I have EA and EC methyl red tubes, and I have EA and EC Vogue's Proskure tubes. All right. So at this point, we are ready to do the tests themselves, and we're going to move over to the fume hood. So we're going to have several stations set up here in the fume hood, but only one student is going to be able to perform these tests at a given time. So you're going to have to be patient and take your turns. For the methyl red test, it's fairly simple. All right, you're gonna grab your methyl red droplet bottle, decap it, and in both tubes, you're going to add three drops. That is all you need for this test. And this test will show up immediately. Give them a flick to mix them up a little bit. And the results you should see are what you see on the screen right now. Then for our Vogue's Proscura test, it's a little bit more complicated. It's not as simple. First, you're gonna take the Reagent A label droplet bottle. This is alpha naphthol. This is a dangerous substance. You do not want to play around with it. That's why we're wearing goggles and gloves. You also do not want any exposed skin. Even this is probably too much exposed skin. So you want to make sure your lab coat's pulled all the way down when you're in here with this chemical, all right? So do not get this on yourself. And if you do, let us know immediately and let's get that washed off, okay? All right, so with this, what you're going to do is you're going to add 15 drops. So you gotta be careful and count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Once you've added your 15 drops, go ahead and put the cap back on just for safety purposes. And then we're gonna flick this around. Be careful, don't flick it too hard. You don't want that to go splashing out. And then we're gonna go back to the alpha naphthol because you need to do this for both tubes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Set your tube down, recap for safety purposes right away, and give it a couple flicks. All right. Now we're going to follow up our alpha naphthol, our reagent A, with reagent B, which is basically potassium hydroxide, concentrated potassium hydroxide. This is caustic, so another reason why we're wearing our gloves and our glasses. So be very careful with this as well. We're going to take the cap off, and this time we are going to add five drops. 
One, two, three, four, five. Done. One, two, three, four, five. Done. Now notice I did not flick to mix in between. What you're going to do at this point, now that you have both of these reagents in, and do your methyl red test first, so this is the last thing you do, because once you have both reagents in, you're gonna go back out to your lab bench, okay, with two new transfer pipettes. And what you're going to do is you're going to aerate these tubes. And when we mean aerate, we mean take air and blow it into the culture, into the bottom. So then pull your tube back out, transfer pipette back out, put it back in, and release the air. Get some more air, pump it in. And this is what you're going to do about every five minutes until the color change occurs. Now what we've done here, again, get rid of your transfer pipettes once they've been exposed to a culture and you're done with them. The thing that you're going to notice here is that we're working with some practice solutions. So these are not the colors you're going to see specifically. These reactions are gonna take some time. Notice that especially when you get to your unknown, the reaction may take up to 60 minutes to occur. So be patient and take your time. With EA and EC that we're working with for this week's activity, you're going to notice that the reaction occurs within 15, maybe 20 minutes. So it's not gonna be nearly as long. The important thing though, is that at the end of this, to get rid of these materials, especially because alpha naphthol is caustic along with the potassium hydroxide, we wanna make sure these are disposed of properly. So once you're done and get your results, take a picture of them and then dispose of them in the waste bin appropriately, in the bucket, okay? And that is the MRVP video.